hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about string functions such as contains not contains is empty is not empty starts with not starts with ends with and not ends with functions in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop if you have a text variable and in that you want to test whether that text contains a specific word or character then you have to use set variable action and then you need to use the contains function let me show you I will use set variable and here I will specify the variable name which is first name right and the value I will keep it as Evan Smith right and then again I will drag another set variable action and I will name it as out first name which means output of the first name and let's say you want to use the contains function you want to check whether this first name variable contains Smith as a word right so I will type contains so this function name should come inside you know a pair of curly braces and in that I will specify the variable name which is having that string right so the variable name is first name so when you are specifying the variable name you do not need to again wrap it inside double curly braces because you have already you know wrapped the contains function in the double curly braces okay and then you have to put a comma and the, then you need to specify the second parameter and which will be that uh, you know what what is the value that you want to check so this is smith and the third parameter which it accepts is whether you want to perform a case sensitive match or non case sensitive match default value if you do not pass the third parameter it will be non case sensitive okay but if you specify the third parameter for example let's say false which means it is going to check the value as it is so if uh, you know the first name is having the smith as small letter s and then you pass the capital letter s in the second parameter then it will give the false output right so let me just run this part and it has to come in the double quotes now if I will run it then you will get the output as true correct and let's keep the third parameter as false and here let's just part is pass the value as small letter s then the value will be false and let's just do one thing let's just remove the third parameter and then click on save and run the bot then you will get the output as true right same thing you can do with uh, not contains so if I run this bot now so you will get the output as uh, you know false because that value is present there and it is not case sensitive okay let's say you want to use is empty function so i can just
if you want to use is empty function you will type as is empty and then the variable name so the variable name which i have is first name now if i pass it as you know if i will run the bot it will give me the output as false but let's say if i just cut it and make this variable as empty then the output will be true correct same thing if you want to use the is not empty function and you just need to type is not empty and then you can run the part the output is true so that first name variable is not empty because it is having this value as even is my correct another function is starts with right so i can just type starts with and the variable name will be first name and does it start with does it start with e so because the value uh, the first name is having the value as even smith so does it starts with e then i can pass yes it starts with e you need to always pass this second parameter in you know double quotes I have written incorrectly this starts with now if I run this part I will get the output as true and but if I make it you know let's say a then the output will be false correct I can say that not starts with you know then the output will be true same thing I can use with you know not ends with does it ends with does it end with a the output will be true and if i you know keep it as ends with the value will be false remember that you can use in all these functions which i've told you you have you can have third parameter where you can specify to whether you want to perform this match you know, based on the case right so you can third parameter you can pass as per your requirement as true and false and then you can get the output according to that so in this case i have specified that does it end with uh, a so it says false because it does not end with uh, a right at the same time you can also use the logical operators right let's say I can say that if for example it is starts with E the first name is starts with E and ends with then the variable name and the second parameter is going to be H so what will be, what will be the output of it in my opinion i should get uh, true the output is indeed true right but let's say if i want to say that if the is not empty is not empty 
what is not empty the first name which is a variable right and starts with first name you know first name is starting with e and ending with h what will be the output it is going to be true let's say if i make it as false in this case the first name is empty right so the output is going to be false now this is the output you have got and based on this then you can go to conditionals and here you can pass the value of out first name and then you can pass the second parameter whether it is true or false you know based on that you can take the next action in your flow so this is how you can use you know contains not contains starts with not starts with ends with not ends with is empty not is em is not empty functions in power automate desktop if you have liked this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day